Hey guys, Blue Moon Soon here, and welcome back to another episode of Challenge Field. Of course, there's a Wednesday, on a Wednesday I do Challenge Field, uh, and today's episode, I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm, I'm going to do Good Guns Gone Bad. Now, that might sound a little bit weird at first, but when you, once you hear the idea, you will understand. Basically, I decided to get a gun that is actually really good and is one of the best in the game, one of my favourites and uh, to make it bad, or at least attempt to make it bad. I decided to do this for one gun from each class. So the first one here, I have the uh, M416 with a PSO-1 um, times foresight. This is basically the Russian ACOG, uh, or one of the Russian ACOGs. Uh, then we have a tactical light on this, a uh, heavy bow, which is really bad in this game, it's amazing in Battlefield 3, it's really bad in this game. And a under rail, so we can put the grenade launcher on there, which is a smoke launcher. Now, the first thing you notice about this gun is the fact that that sight takes up so much of the screen. Uh, when you're not aiming down sights, and when you are aiming down sights. Either way, it takes up a lot of the screen. Uh, second thing you notice is the recoil kicks quite a bit. It's, it's, it's enough to control but it kicks so much on that first shot that it is very hard to get anything. You saw that I wasted 31 rounds on killing that one guy. So it's quite difficult to use. Uh, but the other stuff I had was an MP443, which I didn't actually use, uh, with nothing, a flashlight, and then nothing. Uh, I had a uh, first aid pack, so it was the small one, and then the smoke launcher, like I said. Uh, so that was class that was pretty bad, but it was also quite fun. It was a good, challenging class. The next one I had, which you'll see in a minute, is uh, first of all I, I was on Lumpini Garden, which I've rarely played on, and I managed to get my hands on the raw, which I rarely use. So I decided to use that for a bit. So you guys will see some gameplay from this. And to be honest, it's, the raw is quite good. I really think they need to change the uh, heads-up display. The way you're looking at it now, where you can't actually read anything, and it's very hard to see. Uh, is actually how it was for me. Uh, that's, that's not very good that you can change that. It might just be me, I might get bad luck or something, but you know, at the same time, I can't see anything there. But anyway, so the second class I went with was a UMP45 with an IRNV, which is the infrared night vision scope. Nothing, but I have to fire the UMP in burst, by the way. A compensator which should kick up the recoil a bit more, and a vertical grip which should help the hip fire. Uh, I also had a compact 45 with the standard sights, a tact tactical light, and nothing else. And I had a repair tool, an MBT law, and like I said, the UMP was in burst, which for me was the biggest problem. You'll see a clip in a minute where I shoot at a guy, but I forget the guns in burst because I don't use burst weapons all the time. <laughs> And he actually managed to just kill me because I fired one round and I just stopped. I had my finger held down on the trigger, but I just stopped firing. And that happened a lot of the time. Although at one point I did go on a nice little kill streak. Uh, when the one, one good thing about this UMP loadout here is a it doesn't take a much much of the screen because the UMP is a small gun, and b it, it just looks cool. I like the look of the UMP. We said that I fired one burst and I just completely forgot. Um, about it, but to be honest, this loadout might not be that bad if you just change a few things. Give it to the compensator, um, and it might be better. You can see it's there. I almost forgot, but I managed to pick that guy off, and then just here, uh, I missed all those shots, and I managed to pick that guy off there. The one difficult thing about putting guns that aren't burst weapons in burst is the fact they don't kill like a burst weapon. Burst weapons should kill in two or one burst. Uh, possibly three, but in your that doesn't this gun doesn't do that because it is fully automatic, so it's quite difficult to use, and you are at a disadvantage massively. And the third gun I decided to use was a gun I'm actually really fond of, which is the Ultimax 100 or the U100 MK5. On this, I have my favourite sight in the game, the HD33, which I, I know isn't. That bad. I mean, this should be a bad loadout, but to be honest, the uh, HD33 isn't really built for what this gun is, which I was firing it in single shot. It might sound or might look like it's fully automatic at points, um, but I do fire pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not consistent shooting, but I can do short burst quickly. Uh, I also have the magnifier, 
uh, which I didn't really use, it just sort of takes up a bit of the screen, and takes up a slot. Um, a heavy bow, which makes the recoil heavier, like I said, and a bipod, which I never use bipods. <laughs> the rare occasion I do, and uh, I don't use them very effectively. I also had a shorty 12 gauge, which you'll see in a minute, with nothing, a flashlight, and a bipod. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, this, this loadout would have been pretty good if it wasn't for the fact that the Ultimax was in semi-automatic. If it was in fully automatic, then it would have been pretty good because the Ultimax doesn't kill quickly, but it, it's consistent, it fires well, and if you can get your shots on, it's a quick kill. But in single shot mode, it is very hard to uh, fight somebody in close quarters. Which is kind of what this map is, but at the same time, you can't pick them off at long range because it has a low damage model. Uh, it's it's quite a fun loadout, but it's very difficult to do. And the last one, which is definitely the best, was the AK-5C, which is my highest uh, gun with kills. And I have a ACOG sight, canted iron sight, suppressor, and a bipod. To be honest, this one isn't actually that bad a loadout. Um, I thought it would be worse than it was. Uh, but this one was more of a goofy one, like I'm not really going to use a bipod on a carbine. The ACOG sight is pretty bad in this game, why do I need canted iron sights? And the suppressor uh, is the one redeeming feature along with the low recoil of the AK-5C. Then I had my highest killing pistol, uh, the M9, which has a mini RDS, red dot sight, a laser sight and a suppressor. And I use this loadout quite often, but after using some other pistols, I realize how bad it is. So I really ought to start changing it up and use some different stuff. And the equipment I had was a POD motion sensor. Uh, it was a POD, a motion sensor, um, and a flashbang, which I never used. Now, at first, I couldn't use this, and I thought, okay, I'll make it a little bit different. I'll use the uh, Canton Iron Sights only. But then that kind of worked too easy, and then I said, okay, then I'll use the ACOG. But just there, you saw the low recoil uh, when using the ACOG. Just here, I really should do this more. I put the bipod down, and look how accurate it is. This guy pops his head up here. Usually, um, in a minute, this guy will pop his head up. And I, I, I've never got shots like this uh, without this bipod, but, you know, he struggles to kill me, and I just easily pick him off. <laughs> so, to be honest, you ought to think about using the uh, bipod on guns like this more if you have the tactical mindset to lay up against cover that will provide a good place to put your bipod. But to be honest this was the best loadout I had. Uh, the ACOG, there is a deal, there's a patch that should be coming out. I'm not sure if it's come out today, there was an update, but I'm not sure if, if that was it or not, where the uh, actual sights inside guns won't move. So. The little cross there in the ACOG won't move when the gun moves. It, you know, it'll just stay positioned. But that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching my husband soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Blue Monster out.